Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel and in this video we're going to take a look at how much we can transfer from Mini Q TRQ1 to the Ruhan 530. This is the question that I got from the comment section in my last video and I thought it is interesting to find out. I said that they are practically the same car but uh, who knows. Maybe there are some difference and uh, maybe the position of the drive shaft or the bearing size, maybe they are different. So let us find out in this video. Here's my TRQ1 that I undo most of the screws to make it easier for this project. And this is Ruhan 550, uh, Ruhan 530. So, so let's uh, Let's start by disassembling or take this thing apart. I have a nipper, I should be able to cut this out just like that. And the receiver, the ESC is out. Next thing you're gonna have to do, I'm gonna cut this. Be very careful when you do something like this, not to cut into the wires. And that gone, and that's gone. Next, pull the plugs out, and then pull the receiver out. Okay, so here we have. A very bare bone chassis. I think we should check the differential. Okay, so first take the top plate out. And then Okay, so here's the top section of the Gearbox, put it aside, take the spring out so we don't lose it. Okay, so here's the differential. So we're gonna see that if we can just put that from there to here. Well, that is no brainer because it is going to fit because all the a all the awd cars are the same uh, whether it is mini q or mini z or wl toys they have the they all have the same slot and as you can see it fits perfectly next we're gonna take a look at the center shaft or the prop shaft right here so to take it out, we have to take the dip off first, otherwise it is going to drop. Uh, open the rear gearbox. Take the dip out. Oh, that's one thing I have just thought of. Uh, before we go into the center shaft, let's take a look if the knuckle fit. Mm, no, it doesn't. Uh, the this part, uh, the peg is too thick to go into this hole. So no, the knuckles don't fit either it is from the front or from the back. None of them fit. It can go in here, but not in here. So, it doesn't fit. So, moving on to the center shaft. These are small 
screw so put them aside so I don't lose them and undo the motor mount and then, yes they are small screws as well so take the motor mount and the shaft holder out pull them out straight they should come out but if they don't well let's take a look at what we can do next oh okay so i can just twist it around and pull it out so that's fantastic uh-huh the bearings okay let's take this one out to just put it straight out the bearings the bearings at the center shaft are the same so I can replace the whole shaft with the one from previous mini cubes whether it is from a Q6, Q5, Q3, Q1 it is going to fit so I put it in there put this one in from the front put the bearing in and then the gear And because the Mini Q Q1 is 94mm wheelbase, we're gonna have to move this gearbox back one step. So we do this by remove these four screws. Be careful not to lose them. Now this is 90mm. If we move it back once. It is going to be 94 millimeter wheelbase hopefully because uh, this is like uh, a lot but anyway let's check so apparently no it is not it doesn't have like 94 millimeter so this is 90 And then we have to move it back one slot to 94. Does the screw fit? So here's 94. Yeah. The problem is when it is 94, the screw doesn't really fit. It can it can it can do like 90 and then go straight to 98. So even though we have the gear for 94 millimeter wheelbase we can't use it because uh, there is no slot for 94 millimeter around 98 millimeter so the wheelbase is uh, either 90 98 and then it is a increment of 8 instead of 4 and well, you can sort of make the increment of four works if you just move one step and you can make do with the screw to the small slot but I don't think it is going to fit very well well it can fall off very very easily if you do this but that's the only way you can do the four millimeter increment so just to summarize this chassis can do only 8 millimeter wheelbase increment not 4 millimeter like other chassis in this scale so this is 90 98 104 and these are three wheelbases you can use that's a little bit disappointing because I really want to use the 94mm wheelbase on this car maybe I can change 
the screw but the head the screw heads are going to stick out if I don't use the counter stock like the holes are uh, for it huh. next let's take a look at the servo Here's the mount. It is a generic 5G servo, uh, a shorter version of the 5G servo, so it is the same as this uh, CYS. Size is the same, so it is going to be perfect fit. And it is going like this. Just like that and it is going to fit on the car obviously because it is the same size albeit a little bit longer than the original servo next is the motor obviously it is not going to fit because the TRQ1 uses the standard 130 motor but this is F130 which has screw holes at the front so the motor from TRQ1 is not going to fit next we're going to take a look at the wheel hub bearings so let's take this out I'm gonna need 4 millimeter hex and that's it that's the bearing it is three by seven by two so three millimeter inner diameter seven millimeter outer diameter and two millimeter thick which is exactly the same as the wheel hub bearings on the trq1 and uh, just to prove my point I'm gonna take this out and put the one from Ruhan in just like that and I forgot to tell you about the drive shaft or the CVD these are all the same on the mini cubes so it is going to fit regardless uh, no matter what you took it from uh, either from a mini z all wheel drive or atomic that has a narrow chassis like a AMZ, a DRZ, and so on, and the Mini Q, they all pretty much the same length, so they are going to fit. In conclusion, the differential fits, the drive shaft fits, but you cannot use 94 mm wheelbase, you can only use 90 and 98. You cannot use 94 or 102 mm wheelbase because the chassis doesn't accommodate the increment of 4 mm. All the bearings are the same. So the bearings from the wheel hub, the bearings from the differential, the bearings from the center shaft are all the same. The motor doesn't fit because this one doesn't have the mounting holes at the front. If you can find one that has mounting holes at the front, it is going to fit. The gear fits. The servo fits. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this video is useful. Thanks so much for watching and see you again next time.